Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play episode 140, I believe I'm on, of the game. You almost torment tides off. Never say the name right. Numera, numeri, numera. How do you say that part? Uh, anyway, I'm Avatopia. We have just talked to this, and uh, he says, if I talk to his fobbits, or whatever he called them, I assume it's one of these, they were open bridges and stuff for me to access things. Some will, some won't. And we also already talked to these last episode, and we need to head up here. See what's up here, too. It's a plan. It's the plan. With a plan, with a man. With a man with a plan, even. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we gotta activate this, and let's see what's up here. Oh, can we not get up here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, what is up here? Okay, there's some pick-up things. Then we have three things to interact with, basically, then. Take them all. Take them all. Mm. Let's see what these are first. Oh, just a thingy. Warm radiation from the device providing relief from the frigid air. It could be the equivalent of a campfire, or it could have some other long-forgotten purpose or both. Not that's going to do it now. Not this. Let's go. Even as it floats weightless in the air, the, the megalith bespeaks adamant heath. Uh, perhaps because of its contrast with the surrounding crystals, the stone bleeds need. Even hunger and telepathic whispers rasp the thought product in your mind. What do you want? Study the mirror. Study it. Yeah. And for, uh, um, uh, um, uh, wordies! Command mail properly. No. From a distance, it seems to be a single stone. Up close, you can see that it's covered in many small scales, each inscribed with a different pattern. Hulas? Holes? And loops and arches uh, are distinct as those as those of fingerprints. Whatever it is, a magical construction, a living being, or something else entirely is unclear. Smashing, pull up a scale. Uh, let's see what it wants first. Product, I only know of a give. Give. I only return happy bubbles. Please tell me what you want. All responses. The thought product granted in your mind. Okay, I'll let poor scale them. Five percent. So it's like a little bear. Hey, hey, come on, please do it. Yes. Ow. Collected its crystals. Okay. Digging your fingers deep under the scale of uh, scale, you rip and tug with all your strength. At last, the, the scale snaps off, revealing a tube-like uh, fistulu leading into a, a Megalon's interior. As a small object rolls out of the tube, your mind explodes with a Megalon's outrage. No, no, bad hatchling. No bubbles. Then it's full, full silent. Took one damage to health pool, gained the collection of crystals. The other scales press more tightly against the metal and a thin oily coating seeps over them. No more prying will be possible. Bite it down, Megalon does not des desire to recognise your presence. Okay. There's nothing else to do with it, so. Yes. So the only thing left is this. So this must. Hopefully, this one will open up for something. Because there's no other ones I can mess with. So I came in that way. Ready. There we go. Beautiful. It. Yes. Now. Oh, nice. All right. Get okay, some loot. Cause what's on this side? Hmm. I just don't want that to shut something off. Let me save. Alright. So, hoping that doesn't do yes. anything. Let's see what it says. The crystal and structure is distinctive from the others. It looks older, more fundamental, but by no means basic. It is one of the more complex structures you've seen in this place. Large portions of it glow, emitting a low rumbling hum. You can feel in your chest. Blurring lights flit. Yeah, flit across the surface of its largest gem. Are you a it? A wave of force pulses out from the crystal structure. Your body shudders with the impact, even though you hear nothing. Can you speak? The crystal releases another single pulse, jolting your body. 
you get the strong impression that the pulse means yes. This robot is not like any other you've seen. It may not have the communication qualities of the speaker, but it's trying to talk to you nonetheless. What is your function? The glow dims slightly and the blurry lights on the GM surface disappear. You realise they weren't lights at all, but images the prophet was trying to show you. When they reappear, they show a flat crystalline plane. Uh, then one by one shards emerge. They bud and sprout in the shape of their other prophets or fofets, whatever they call. As you watch, they continue growing, creating ridge, walkways, stairs. In one corner, you see the speaker flower. Flower, sorry, speaker flower, speaker flower, no, speaker flower, out of the crystal. In a matter of second, this entire region of dissension has taken shape in the image. Before you, the prophet built it, built it all. Looking for a circle dark hydrogen metal. Amulet, have you seen it? The large crystal pulses once, an image appears of a human figure walking through the ascension into a cave. And that was not like a little cave gate, uh, um, cave entrance over there with blocks, something probably in there. Uh, the details are too fuzzy to make out who it is, but presumably he has the amulet, or the annulute. Because amulet's an M, isn't it? So an annulute. After a while, he leaves the cave, the image moves quickly, then crystals growing and shrinking as the time passes. Suddenly, the entire image shakes, and the cave entrance is gone. When the cave entrance closes, it doesn't look like a simple collapse. Crystals grow up from the, the ground as if they're in, internationally blocking the way inside. Basically, they're blocking on purpose. Why did the cave close? The violet light dims for a moment and an ombious pulse shudders through your body. An image appears of some kind of multi-legged clawed creature you've never seen before. I was going to say the creature was that thing was chasing me, but we've seen it's never seen it before, so it can't be. But that was my first thing. I was like, wait, that thing that we've been hunting me was like in his mind type thing. Show me the creature in the cave again. Right, like the of the Fobbit shows you again the image of a what you like a claw creature. Okay. To be devouring solid crystal shards. You closed the cave, didn't you? Can you open it again for me? So is the creature stuck in the cave? So... Assuming the person we don't know who it is, but assuming it's the Changeling God. He went in there, the creature came after him, he left. And then the thing shuts it, stop it getting out, maybe. The light when the crystal freezes in place and the humming of the phobic ceases. stays motionless for some time. Finally, you feel the single pulse of force through your body. Yes. Okay, is that now open over there? You feel the ground rumble under your feet. The few moments of vibration cease and the fobbit shows you an image of the cave. The crystal that's blocked the entrance are gone. Farewell. Oh, well. You feel two quick pulses through your body, then the crystal structure goes still. Is it? Yep, it was. I was right. Let's go. The very soul of action. Good for you. Okay, that's a pick to pick something up, isn't it? Hmm, let's say before we click that, just in case it shuts the bridge on us or something, or shuts the cave up again. I just want to see what this one does. I'm assuming it open up here to access this. Oh, yep, that's right. I just worried it was going to shut the cave or something on me. Yes. I can get this stuff. Have I got everything up here now? Oh yeah, the maps. Cool. Yeah, it's the full map now. Okay, so what's the entire view we're going? Why not? Why not? I don't know, why just get in there? Where's it taking us? Some kind of creatures trapped in here? Maybe. So them guys have been here for so long, don't know what they're doing, and we're already got through. This put out, oh, I didn't read that. Do we have a chat thing we can read what he says? Poems, right, journal. No. I must it. Oh, can you level? Must level you. I will and above. Crease stat pool. Well, I can only do extra effort or crease edge. Which is which again? Increase edge pool of your choice. Okay. Each edge provides a bonus to all tasks and challenges. Okay. Probably I can only do might and speed. Why can't I do intelligence? Intelligence too, that's what he means. Mm, increase. 
Bailey should do that. Cause look, they should highlight and doesn't. I say it's might. Cause he's the strongest we got. Oh, I was expecting that to go up by to eleven. No one else has anything to go by, have they? No. Okay. Let's do it. How big is this map? This one's not as big. Okay, I guess there's something to pick up. All right. This looks like could be what we were looking for. I'm just, I'm just thinking this creature's gonna be in here. Mm, sideways! Upwards! Down below! Spin on your head! Whatever it takes! I don't care! I don't know! Fine. I'm ready. I'm always Got a lot of things to down here. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. We'll read it. The vice seems to be the source of the low hum that permits the cavern. It's receiving power through the thick cables from two large machines against the wall. Okay, so we want to read all the stuff we can. The incredible field of energy seals the part of the cave. So there's probably what we need is in there. It means we can't get any of these, can we? I'm ready. Nope. Don't know where they're going. Doing it now. This machine is similar to the one next to it, but it doesn't have any sort of interface or control panel. A phobit appears to be trapped in the center crystal. It's flickering. Oh, okay, so we have to free that, I guess. So there's something to interact, something to interact, and it's probably going to do something to free this. So we're going to get this stuff. What's this? The stasis pod is dull and lifeless. There's no visible way to activate it. So apparently we need to activate this pod. So the only little thing is this. Here we go then. All the cables in the room connect to this bulky machine and its twin. They generate a low rumble that you can feel in your feet. As you approach, a screen lights up. A strange maze-like rune flashes angrily in the center of the screen. Three other glyphs revolve slowly around in a was that a eclipse orbit. A bolt of lightning, a set of parallel lines, and a circle. It's actually destroyed the machine as well. Touch the flashing um, maze like rune. Touch the glyph that looks like a bolt of lightning. It's probably like this electrocute me. Touch the glyph of parallel lines. Uh, the maze like rune? Is that from the top? Picture appears to. appears it looks like a technical somatic of the device behind you. Center of the room, the source of the low hum. The vertical lines of runes appear next to the somatic, but you can't read them. Try to decipher the ruins. Okay. For you can't read the runes, the gist of the message becomes clear. It's a warning about the device with the two crystals at the center of the chamber. The device has was that de deteriorated to an unstable state, and any fluctuation in power is likely to result in an interruption in function. Uh, the runes do not say what will happen if the device ceases to function or if they do you cannot decipher it great <laughs> turn the interface in the screen step away turn okay touch the glyph else like a bolt please don't electrocute me the rune and glyph disappears replaces with image of depicting the bank of free large crystals to your right symbols flow into the image showing that the device is cleaving power from the machine before you a circle symbol glows next to the image. Each uh, time one of the symbols enters the image of this crystal, the circle symbol pulses brightly. Pressing it would likely cut the flow of power to the bank crystals. What it says could be bad, could be good, I don't know. We'll come back to that one. So we know we can press it and probably stop the power. Touch the glyph in the power lines. An image appears of the pod in the far corner of the room so that's the the pod we can't access right now the image of the pod is dim a circular symbol sits next to the image press the dim circle symbol turn the interface yeah press that one They'll probably turn it on both the symbol and the pod light up on the screen the circle symbol pulses in time with odd symbols that march into the image of the pod itself 
In the far corner of the room, new noises indicate that the pod is now receiving power. Okay, we're going to see what's in there then. Before we continue. And you know, before we click on this, we're actually going to do the next episode. So, please like, please subscribe, please share next time. I've been Toby. Have a great wonderful day out there. And see you next time. And if you haven't already, please share the video. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. And obviously, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you very much. You've been awesome. See you next time. Bye, everyone.